Ukraine. And the, and the impacts of the war are still an everyday reality. That includes three children who have now sent their artwork here to Colorado Springs to be displayed and sold. Their uncle lives here and is helping with their effort. It's pretty special. News finds Ashley Portillo shares their story of color, creativity, and hope from a war-torn nation. There are more than 20 paintings and pieces of artwork now hanging on the wall here at Phil Long Ford of Chapel Hills. Now the children who created all of this artwork are hoping to raise more money so they can buy better equipment and military gear for their fathers who have been drafted to fight in the war. Nika, Alina and Zenya painted this artwork from their home in Kiev. They painted most of these paintings by candlelight um, because most of the time right now in Kiev, they don't actually have electricity. Since the war began, their city has been at the center of devastation and destruction. There's daily bomb drills, so oftentimes they end up in the basement of their house and, of course, not able to go to school. Ian Dorsey is their uncle. As a way to remember the war that's still happening in Ukraine, their artwork now on display at his work more than 5,000 miles away in Colorado Springs. This is um, a ship and a Ukrainian soldier. And this is One painting is of a sunflower. It's Ukraine's national flower, a symbol of solidarity and peace. Other pieces even reflect the children's day-to-day -day realities. So Nika said that her favorite picture is about this military dog who used to help to find people. The dog's job very important. A lot of people dying or are under the, some buildings. Money raised from their artwork will go to their fathers who are fighting on the front lines. They very appreciate that they can buy everything that their father needs to be in this battle zone. The children said they appreciate the support from halfway across the world. When you hear from these young ladies, you'll see that they're happy, they're cheerful, they're excited to be doing something to help out their country. Their artwork is also showing color and hope from a war-torn nation despite what's going on. With these young ladies and all our friends and families that are there, um, just their ability to keep a hopeful and happy spirit through everything that's going on. So these paintings are being sold for $4 a piece. For more information on them, you can just head over to our website at KOAA.com. Reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Ashley Portillo, News 5. Ashley, thank you. The courage of those young mm -hmm. children is just amazing is what amazing. they're going through every day. By the way, and as we've reported, millions of Ukrainians have fled that country since the start of the war. Most of them stayed in Europe, but some have made the journey to Colorado, including Valentina Fezienko. She left Ukraine last April after her American friends called her to announce the war has started. She said she was torn about leaving her country, packing and unpacking her bags for a week before she undertook that journey. She says she was a happy person with a full life before bombs started falling on Kyiv. It's almost a year has war started and even for me it's like it was yesterday because it's the same February and the same this feeling that you lose something, something's living through your finger like your life. But I always remember that human beings, we are strong and we can fight against evil. She says she wakes up at five in the morning to call her mother every day and she is so proud of the bravery of her fellow Ukrainians.